All right, guys, hi. I'm Melissa, your Nutterista. Happy 4th of July. I'm so excited because today we're gonna to be showing you how to make your very own homemade traditional ketchup. That's right, we're gonna show you how to use your own ingredients at home for a healthy ketchup. None of the preservatives that you see at the grocery stores when you get your home-bought ketchup, your very own ketchup that you don't have to worry about. You can see all the ingredients yourself to make for a healthy 4th of July party. All right, so let's get started. So we're gonna start with 1 4th cup honey. Love. I did not know that you can make ketchup with honey, but I'm really excited about that because honey is a great alternative to sugar. So if you want to sweeten up any of your recipes, honey is one of the best healthy alternatives. Right? So we're just going to pour that in. Okay, really easy. All right, then we're going to do a half cup white vinegar. A lot of people don't like the smell of vinegar, but I actually do. All right, so we'll do half cup. Oh, perfect. All right, then we're gonna do a can of tomato paste. All right, so this is exciting. And I love tomatoes. I mean, who would have thought it was so easy to make ketchup? And you can make it all in the Nutter Machine, which is amazing. Like, that is how amazing this machine is. You can make ketchup in it. I never would have thought I could make my own ketchup. All right, so that's our tomato paste. All right, then we're gonna do one fourth cup water. onion powder and we're gonna add our garlic powder that, we'll bit of that in here all right half tablespoon of salt yeah all right now the best part we're gonna blend this on hot we're gonna blend it on hot which will take about 10 minutes All right, you guys, and the ketchup is ready. So it's gonna be really hot. You see the steam coming up? Super hot. That's how well the nutter works. Oh my God, it looks really good. Oh my God, it smells so good. This is like, reminds me of like, oh my God, look at it. That's so cool. It looks like real ketchup. I mean, it is real, but I mean, that looks amazing. The consistency is already so great, but you guys, so to really thicken it up, you're gonna wanna leave it in the fridge overnight. So it's already really hot, that will cool it off and thicken it up, but you can see it's already pretty thick. Really good consistency. I'm so excited to try this. All right guys, I'm gonna go put it in the fridge. All right guys, so I'm so excited to try my homemade ketchup on my hot dog. I'm Hopefully I'm making this for the 4th of July. Oh my god. Probably the best ketchup I've ever had. Like, it doesn't taste like all those preservatives that you can taste when you get it from the grocery store. Best homemade ketchup I've ever had made in this machine. It's a healthy homemade ketchup you guys make for all of your summer parties. Happy 4th of July. Let me know when you guys make this recipe what you think and how you guys like it. And next time we're going to be making some more really fun summer recipes.